You may be wondering why I am playing a child's nursery rhyme <laughs> and Humpty Dumpty above all of them. Well, I wanted to give you a word of encouragement on today. And first, I want to let you know I dislike children's nursery rhymes. We were taught so much at such an early age that was in error that was false and so we were taught in school about Humpty Dumpty this egg-like figure this egg-like person that climbed onto a wall that he was probably doing something he wasn't supposed to be doing because he was a, a fragile person a fragile figure so he should have had common sense not to climb on that wall knowing that he had the potential to fall and so Humpty Dumpty climbed on the wall and then we were told and we were taught to sing that he fell. And when he fell, he fractured into a million pieces or he fact fractured into many broken pieces. And it said all the king's horsemen and all the king's men, royal servants, people with power, people with might, couldn't put him back together again. And we were taught from our early age that we might get ourselves into situations that we do better to get ourselves into and that we would get damaged and there would be nobody to fix us. Hopeless situations, broken situations, Yesterday was Saturday, and Saturdays are normally my days to reflect. And as I reflected, I took a, a, a Saturday selfie, and I, I look at the person in the picture. And then I think back over the things that person has been through. And I, for, for, for a moment on yesterday, and actually for the last couple of days, I was remembering back to a time when I climbed on the wall, being that fragile person, being a human, I'll say that, right? And I made some decisions that caused me to fall, that caused me to be broken. And then I thought back to a time when maybe I sat on the wall or somebody put the ladder in place for me to climb and sit on the wall and then they pushed me off the wall. And I shattered and I broke. And so on yesterday I sat and I reflected. And I remember that time when I was so broken and so hurt that I did not even recognize the broken pieces of me or how to even put me back together again. And I thought of that childhood song, Humpty Dumpty sat on a wall, Humpty Dumpty had a great fall, and all the king's horsemen and all the king's men couldn't put Humpty back together again. 
And I thought back to that time when my heart was so broken, when I was so broken as a person, as a woman, that I fell and I was shattered, that I was broken into a million pieces. And y'all, the king's horsemen and the king's men, they came and they tried to put me back together again. And the king's horsemen and the king's men, y'all can be the family and friends or even the things we try to do to put ourselves back together again. That could be the shopping, shopaholics, retail therapy. That could be the, the, the food, emotional eating. That could be the relationships that we jump in and out of. That could be the church hopping. That could be the all the different things that we go to to try to find out how to put those broken pieces of us together again. But it didn't work. The only thing about Humpty Dump, these stories and our stories is it says the king's horsemen and the king's men. It never mentions the king coming to see about Humpty Dumpty. It never comes. It never says the king stepped in and healed him. But thank God, y'all, unlike that nursery rhyme, unlike Humpty Dumpty, we have a king we have a king and thank god that king king wouldn't let me stay broken he didn't only put me back together again but he also made me better y'all some of the situations we go through in life when they break us they make us bitter But when you have a king in your life, he doesn't only just send his horsemen. He don't only just send his men, but he will come himself to see about you. And instead of letting the situation make me bitter, he made me better. Glory to God. That's a praise right there. I tell people often, if you know my story, if you have cried the tears that I have cried and went through the things that I have went through and survived, you would praise him too. You would praise him with me. So I came to encourage you on today. You may be broken right now. You may be feeling like you are shattered into a thousand pieces, a million pieces, and you don't even recognize the broken pieces that are supposed to be you. And guess what? If you don't even recognize the broken pieces, how can you even begin to put the pieces of the puzzle, the pieces of you back together again? And you may have been like me, trying different three things going to different people, trying to find the broken pieces of me, trying to put the broken pieces of me back together again, and it doesn't work. Often those people can get cut on the jagged edges. Often those people can end up doing more harm than good, even though they had good intentions. You have to get to the king. You have to allow the king to come and see about you. Because when the king comes and sees about you, he will fix you. I was broken, but he fixed me. I was broken to be built better. The king put me back together again. And I came to tell you on today, I came to encourage you on today, that God said you may be broken, but he will put you back together again, and he will build you better than before. I tell people, I don't speak just from a knowledge of the word or a knowledge of the Bible, but I speak from experience and I know that God is real. I know that my king is real because the things that I've been through, I shouldn't have survived. I should either have been in jail, a crazy house or dead. But he said, you are my child. The things may have tried to break you, but I'm going to build you. And he will build you better than before. 
I was broken into a million pieces once. I thought I would never love again or that my heart could never love again because my heart had been shattered. And when my heart shattered, it shattered me because the Bible says guard your heart because out of it flows the issues of life. And if your heart is ever broken, y'all, that can affect every area of your life. But we have a heart healer. We have a heart restorer. He'll even give us a heart transplant if we need it. And I was broken into a million pieces. And he took my pieces and he turned them into a masterpiece. He still turned them into a masterpiece because he's the great master. And what he did for me, he would do for you. So I came to tell you today, you are not Humpty Dumpty. Your case is not hopeless. Get to the king. Let the king rebuild you. He will even use the broken pieces to make you better. To build you better. God will use the broken pieces to make you the better person. Even if someone pushed you off the wall. Sometimes we fall off the wall by things that we choose to do. And sometimes there are the people there that push us. I've chosen to, to get on that wall and fall out. And I've had people that pushed me. But God will use those broken pieces to make you the better person. So I just wanted to encourage you on today. That God has better for you. God has a better you in mind. Give him your broken pieces on today. Give him your broken pieces today. Get before the king on today. And let him restore you. And let him restore you. God loves you. You are the apple of his eye. I love it. Jeremiah 17 and 14 says, God, pick up the pieces. Put me back together again. You are my praise. Did you know that was in the word? Another translation of Jeremiah 17 and 14 says, Heal me, O Lord, and I will be healed. Save me and I will be saved, for you are my praise. God is speaking to you right now. You can say that same scripture. You can say those same words. And you can understand that Humpty Dumpty was a child's nursery rhyme. A silly song that they never should have taught us because it was teaching us hopeless situations. But we have a God of the Bible. We have a God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob who gave us his son to be king. That through his life, hmm, we can be healed. We can be saved. We can be put back together again. Do you feel like you're broken? Do you feel like you're broken? God is telling you today it's time to be healed. All you have to do is get to him. Let the king come in. Psalm 30 and 2 says, When we feel broken, All we have to do is cry out to our Lord and he will heal us and put us back together again. Oh, my Lord, I cried out to you and you healed me.
Joshua 1 and 8. Do not let this book of the law depart from your mouth. Meditate on it day and night so that you may be careful to do everything written in it. Then you will be prosperous and successful. Life can be too overwhelming at times, but by focusing on God's word and doing as it says, we can become happy and successful once more. And like I said with Jeremiah 17 and 14, heal me, O Lord, and I shall be healed. Save me, O God, and I shall be saved, for you are my praise. God is more powerful than any earthly power. He is more powerful than anything we'll ever go through. And when we look to God for healing and salvation, he will not disappoint us. Proverbs 17 and 22. A joyful heart is a good medicine, but a crushed spirit dries up the bones. Many, of, uh, many people have bone diseases, issues in their bodies because they've been broken and don't know how to get put back together again when we are sad and our spirits are crushed we must ask god to make our hearts joyful in order to disperse to break up this sadness and our god hears and listens and acts first thessalonians 5 16 and 18 always be joyful never stop praying be thankful in all circumstances even when we are broken, we can praise God. He will bring us joy for that. We can be thankful. Even if life is not going the way we had hoped, we can still praise him for his blessings. Because my favorite scripture, I want to say is Romans 8 and 28. And that is God works all things. And we know with great confidence that God who is deeply concerned about us causes all things to work together as a plan for good for those who love God and to those who are called according to his plan and purpose. My favorite scripture. When I went through a rough time, out of all the scriptures in the Bible, there are 32,000, I want to say 32,400 scriptures, 66 books of the Bible. Out of all the scriptures in the Bible, God gave me that one. And I'm like, really, Lord? He said, stand on it. And I said with tears in my eyes, Lord, I don't know how you can work this for my good. But I'm going to stand on your word. I gave him my broken pieces. And he put me back together again. I gave him my broken pieces and he put me back together again. And what was supposed to make me bitter, he made me better. And he truly worked it for my good. So that's why we praise God even in the midst of our broken situations. We praise God even in the midst of those difficult situations because it's through those situations we get to see the power of God. It's through those situations we get to see his love. We even get to see miracles. Thank you, Father. The thief comes to steal, kill, and destroy. God's purpose is to give them rich and a satisfying life. John 10 and 10. The world only steals our joy. It kills our hope and destroys our freedom. That's us climbing up on that wall and looking out into the things of the world and wanting those things. And God gives us a rich and satisfying life. The world will not heal us. Only God can do that. Isaiah 25 and 8 says, He will swallow up death forever. The sovereign Lord will wipe away all tears. He will remove forever all insults and mockery against his land and his people. When life gets us down, y'all, God does not stop fighting for us. He wipes away our tears and removes the things of this world that seek to hurt us. God swallows up death forever. That's the king that comes and sees about you. The king's horsemen can't do it. The king's men can't do it. But our king can. 
2 Corinthians 5 and 17, your broken pieces, you will be built better. Your broken pieces will be turned into a masterpiece because 2 Corinthians 5 and 17 says, Therefore, if anyone is in Christ, the new creation has come, the old has gone, the new is here. When God heals us, he not only fixes what is already there, he also makes us completely new. Thank you, Father. He takes away our sins. He takes away our hurts and our pains. And he doesn't just cover them up. The old has gone. The new is here. Glory be to God. Glory be to God. Glory be to God. Glory be to God. Matthew 11 and 28 says, Come to me, all who are weary and burdened, and I will give you rest. Your broken pieces, walking around broken, jagged edges cutting other people, that can make you weary and that can burden you with its weights. Sometimes even our own shortcomings, the decisions we made to sit on that wall often feel too big to carry. But we can take consolation, consolation, excuse me, and knowing that God is big enough to carry all of our troubles. His shoulders are big enough to carry all of our problems, all of our weights, and all of our burdens. Come to him if you are weary and heavily burdened. Pick up your pieces and bring it to him. Put them in a duffel bag, put them in a trash bag, put up whatever you need. Just pick up the pieces and get before him. And I love Matthew 19 and 26. But Jesus looked at them and said to them, With men this is impossible. With God all things are possible. All the king's men and all the king's men, all the king's horsemen and all the king's men couldn't put Humpty Dumpty back together again. All the people and all the whatever couldn't put you back together again. But what is impossible with man is possible with God. <laughs> the king came and saw about me and he put me back together again let the king in today and let him come and see you see about you today and put you back together it may seem at times like sadness and brokenness will never end and maybe by earthly standards they never will but with god all things are possible even healing a broken soul i'm a witness of this y'all I'm a witness of this God, guys, y'all. I'm a witness of this God, and I'm a witness of this, y'all. I've been through a lot of things in my life, and yet I can still smile, and yet the smile is still genuine. I've been through a lot in this life, and yet I can still inspire and still encourage people because with God, all things are possible. If you truly knew my story, it might shock you. But then you will have to realize that there is a God. I've talked briefly before about one of the worst things that I ever went through in life. Was when my husband had an affair. And that affair produced a child. And I was so broken. I was into a million pieces. And I reflected on that on yesterday as I looked at that picture of me. And I remember when I was, I couldn't stop crying or I was so angry or I had murderous thoughts or I had suicidal thoughts. Uh-oh. Broken pieces. Shattered pieces. Jagged edges. I remember as a saved woman praying for that child to die and telling God, you know, Lord, I can halfway kind of deal with an affair, but having a child that that reminds me of that situation, that's just too much for my heart to take. And I remember crying out to God one day, Lord, if you don't intend to take this pain away from me, I need you to kill me dead on this spot. 
all the king's horsemen and all the king's men couldn't put Andrea back together again. Andrea had sat on a wall and had been quite frankly pushed off that wall. The king's horsemen couldn't put me back together again. The king's men couldn't put me back together again. But the king, when I cried out to him, the king came and saw about me. And he rebuilt me. And he rebuilt me. And he made me better and not bitter. And he allowed my heart to heal. And I was able to hold that baby the second day after she was born. She was in my house five days later. She would sleep only in my arms when she did stay in with us. I raised her like she was mine because God took the broken pieces and he rebuilt me. And yes, there were times that situation try to take the hammer to the freshly me that was being rebuilt and try to break it back down again. But I called on God each time. There was sometimes there was a broken piece that fell off and it cut me and cut them. Uh oh. But I would get back to God and I would cry out to him and he would strengthen me. And that child is now 13 years old today. I remember a time when just the date of her birth would cause me such pain. Such pain. Like it was it would destroy my whole day. It would destroy my whole week. But I kept going to the king. The king kept coming to see about me. And he kept putting the broken pieces back together. I don't know what your situation is. Your situation may be worse than mine. Your situation may not be. But I can tell you only a couple of things, or one thing in particular that I remember that broke me down as a person, that broke me down as a woman, that broke me down as a wife, that broke me down as a mother. It almost made me lose who I was as a person. I was in these million broken pieces and I didn't even recognize the broken pieces and couldn't even begin to understand or realize or recognize how to put me back together again. My husband couldn't put me back together again. Retail therapy for me couldn't put me back together again. Emotional eating, my weight fluctuated, couldn't put me back together again. But getting to God and allowing him to come in, that put me back together again. So I just wanted to encourage you on today. If you've experienced anything like I've experienced, and that's just a snippet of my story. That's just a snippet of my story. I don't know if y'all are ready for the full thing. But if you've ever been broken, if you're feeling like you're in a thousand million pieces and you don't even know where to begin to put yourself back together again, your first stop is getting to God. Crying out to him today. Heal me, O Lord, and I will be healed. Save me, O Lord, and I shall be saved for you are my praise. You can stem the word, Lord, even though I'm broken right now, you can heal me. You can say, Lord, your word says you work all things for the good of those who love you and are called according to your purpose. 
work this for my good. And y'all, that was the scripture that God gave me when I found out my husband had an affair and that he had a baby on the way. I said, Lord, really? Out of all the scriptures in the Bible, you're going to give me that one? How can you work this for my good? I don't see how you can do it. Mm. And he rebuilt me, y'all. He even told me one day, he says, <laughs> you being thrown into the furnace. He says, but when you come out of the furnace, you won't even have the smell of smoke on you. Nothing on you will be burned. But those that pushed you in, uh-oh. They may not be as lucky. He told me, I'm going to bring you out. I'm going to allow you to walk through this situation to show people how a woman of God walks through a situation like this. Because trust me, people were watching. Her husband had a baby. He cheated on her and had a baby. How was she going to respond? How was she going to react? People know what you're going through. People know they, they hearing and they're looking to seeing how you're going to come through this. God says, I'm going to show people how a woman of God even goes through a situation like this. He says, I'm going to bring you out. He says, trust me, my daughter, to see you cry has made me cry. Thank you, Lord. And he says, but I'm going to heal you. I'm going to take your broken pieces and put them back together again better than before and he said then i'm going to use you to go and help bring other women out to go and help other people get healed and because he did it for me i'm telling you today he can do it for you so i want you to be encouraged on today and i want to pray for you today you may be broken but if you hear this video on today, if you hear this message on today, today is your, the beginning of your miracle. All you have to do is take him at his word. All you can do is take me at my testimony. Let's pray. Father God, God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, we thank you for today. We thank you for your love, your grace, and for your mercy. We thank you for this moment in time because through it, your power and glory are being shown. Father God, bless the listener on today. Bless the one that is broken. Bless the one that may have gone through what I've gone through, maybe gone through worse or maybe not as much, but they still feel broken. They feel broken in every area of their lives. Their mind, body, and souls are broken. Father God, look at them on today. Hear them on today. Heal them, O oh Lord, and they will be healed. Save them, O oh Lord, and they will be saved. For you are our praise. What is impossible for man is possible for God. Father God, do the impossible. Make the impossible things in our life possible on today. If they thought they could never be healed from that situation, let your healing flow today in the name of Jesus. Heal mind, body, and soul. If even the thing that broke them is causing illness, cancer, disease, high blood pressure, arthritis, or multiple sclerosis, anything in their body, the sickness is a cause of the brokenness. Let that be healed today in the name of Jesus. Let the relationships that have been torn apart because of the brokenness be healed today. Let the depression lift let every demon and devil torment and them causing anxiety be gone because the brokenness in their soul is healed on today. Heal your daughter. Heal your son. As they bring your bro their broken pieces to you, oh God, turn them into a masterpiece. Turn them into a masterpiece. Rebuild them better than before. And we'll give you all the glory. Let your light shine in every area of our lives. And like the welding torch lights, Father God, 
as your light shines on us, it welds the broken pieces of us together into a way that we will never be broken again. Let your light shine in us, on us, and through us. And let that light shine brighter day by day. And we give you all the glory. The king's horsemen and the king's men may not be able to put us back together again. But you, oh God, can. You are the king that will. And we say thank you. Father God, thank you right now for forgiving us for what we climbed on the wall. Knowing that it was dangerous and we fell and broke. Father God, we forgive those that maybe even put us on the wall and pushed us off the wall. And we shatter. We forgive ourselves and we forgive them on today. In the name of Jesus. And now wash us in the blood of the Lamb. Wash us in the blood of Jesus. Wash our past, present, and future. And let our lives now begin to be everything that you have called them to be. Thank you for working this for our good. Thank you, Father God. In Jesus' name, I pray, we pray, amen and amen. I tell people I'm a little bit transparent, too transparent for most, but transparency heals. And if I can tell you the things that I've been through and that God brought me out of and healed me of, then you can believe that he'll do the same for you and even greater. So I love you all. Just want to give you a word of encouragement. You are not Humpty Dumpty. Your situation is not hopeless. The king's men and the king's horsemen may not be able to put you back together again, but we have a king that can. And he will take your broken pieces and turn them into a masterpiece. He will take those broken pieces and rebuild you into a better person. You are meant to be better and not bitter. You are a child of God, a daughter and son of the Most High God, royalty. Get back to the King Daddy. Get back to your father. And let him heal every area of your life. So I love you all. Be blessed. I pray this word blessed you on today. This is Faith Manifested with Andrea. Be blessed.